Sagittarius. This is your energy reading for the week of 7th November. I can't believe we're in November already. I hope you're doing well. And so let's see. Um, This is a general reading and we're doing energy reading and picking up intuitive messages. I do not do traditional tarot. So um, the meanings on the cards uh, may not mean a thing in this particular reading. I'm just, you know, tapping on the energy. Okay, Sagittarius, so let's pick three and we're gonna pair the first three uh, with the next three in another deck and we'll see what comes up. So we have here, new beginnings. First card, second card, joy, nice. And then we have self-love. This is coming up a lot. Uh, for Sagittarius. Now we're going to pair them. I'm going to look at this particular deck to pair as clarifier. So we may pick more clarifiers if necessary. So first, expect powerful change. This will pair with a new beginning. And then your commitment is being tested. This is with joy. And then self-love. Surrender to the divine. Okay, so let's see what the story is. So, Sagittarius. So, new beginning and expect powerful changes. It seems like you're entering this phase of big changes, you know, coming up for you. Um, I feel intuitively it has to do with your spiritual progress. It has to do with, firstly, with the spiritual progress. And then it kind of like um, bleeds over to all aspects of your physical life. It also is impacting your personal life. Um, so very, very big thing coming up. I want to ask a question about something more specific to this powerful change. So we're going to pick a card from here. And we have, it's all good. <laughs> so basically telling us that there's no need to find out. It's all good. Okay, so that sounds good. Now, the second set, we have your commitment is being tested and also the energies of joy. Are you able to be committed to joy or do you have a fear that joy is going to be ripped away and do you feel like joy is going to be short-lived, that you are afraid to be completely joyful in life and in situations? And I feel that, you know, Sagittarius, you maybe, you know, the sense I'm getting is that um, naturally and within you, you hold the energies of joy, but life has been, you know, really challenging, you know, growing up and, you know, going into adulthood. And so you, you've been confronted by um, challenges, a lot of stuff, and it has kind of robbed joy away. But the true value within you, right, it's you hold that space for joy. So it's coming back right? And you are asked to reclaim that. It's already within you. You do not have to work that hard to experience the joy. You just need to be able to see and experience the joy. So uh, what would really help is to smile more, right? And to invoke that energy, that natural joy that you carry within you anyway, right? And so let's pick one <laughs> from this deck. I like to see what else it says in terms of your commitment to joy, a new day, right? It's a new day, new beginning. So it's a lot of new stuff coming up for you, Sagittarius. It sounds really exciting. And then the third set is self-love and surrendering to the divine. So there may be something that you are still trying to control. You're trying to control the situation. I feel this has to do with your personal life. You're still trying to control the direction. You're still trying to control the situation. So you're asked to look deeper into self-love. How much do you love yourself and can you just surrender, right? If you love yourself enough and you trust in the divine, you trust in your higher self, you trust in your soul to guide you, then there's no need for you to try to control too much about how things are moving and not to obsess so much on within that direction. So let's see. Let's pick a clarifier for that. And we have here sacred space. So what would be good is for you to create a sacred space within yourself, or it could be a physical sacred space that you want in your home where you sit down to meditate and just fill that space with energies of self-love. 
things to remind you about self-love. Uh, but the other thing also is the sacred space within your heart. What is that sacred space within your heart that no one can enter and it is so sacred that, you know, it's like keeping that space for yourself, for your inner child consciousness, where you feel safe, where you feel that you can truly dwell in the energies of joy and love and allow the divine to come to come in and to guide you, okay? I want to pick one card from this deck to kind of like, Give us some um, clarifiers for the entire reading so far. Very, very, um, I feel the energies, you know, a lot of um, parts are flipping a lot. A lot of uh, powerful changes coming up, a lot of deep inner work. Um, or rather, you're going to see the results of your deep inner work uh, coming up. So that's really good news. This deck is exploding. So let's see. We have here divine feminine. So your divine feminine is really surfacing. It's coming up. Allow it. Allow, soften the heart and allow the heart to blossom. Allow the divine feminine to surface. Allow joy to sing. Right? Very exciting. And then we have also courage. Courage is needed for you to allow yourself to stand in your divine feminine frequencies. And one more here, we have surrender. Again, surrender. Okay. So a lot of surrendering needed and allow the universe to do its work for you and don't try to control it too much. Now, let's see. We, I want to pick a card from this deck and uh, let's see what we get. Because I want to pick one soul action as well. But let's have an inspiring message for Sagittarius. And here we have, it says, kindness, right? So this is a very feminine energy, divine feminine kindness, softening of your heart. Allow that to be your, to you, to be your branding for the week, for the 7th of November week and, and let it surface. Very nice energies. A nice reading for you, Sagittarius. Let's pick one from Soul Action. Let's see what you need to do. And here we go. Wow. It's a long one. I'm going to read it. Where am I? Where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? Now, if you're feeling unwell, whether it is physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually, ask yourself, what is it that you need to do? So the feeling unwell uh doesn't mean that you are sick or ill. It just means that you are not quite 100% in your element. So you might want to look into this and see what is it that you need to do. So the sole action here is that feed your body where it needs to be nourished. So the body here could be emotional, mental, spiritual, physical bodies. Appreciate and love yourself. Make some new exciting goals to take your health to the next level. Very nice. Okay, a very good reminder. Now let's pick one more. What am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? <laughs> Are you waiting for someone else to do it for you? So no more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you are really made of. Very powerful. Wow, soul, strong heart, can't lose. Okay, that's your mantra. Wow, soul, strong heart, can't lose. All right, Sagittarius, have a wonderful week and I'll see you again. Bye for now.